This video addresses the question, what is a subspace uh, in linear algebra? Um, you'll often hear this term thrown about along with a lot of other terms and sometimes they can get a little confusing. So let's take the time to straighten out exactly what a subspace is. Uh, a subspace is going to be a set of vectors um, in Rn, that means they have n components, and it obeys three rules. So it's a set of vectors um, and this set of vectors will contain the zero vector. So if you're in Rn, that means your vectors are uh, n components long. You have just the vector that's everything is zeros. Um, the second one is this subspace uh, is contained within uh, addition. Um, and I'll explain a bit what that means in a bit. So yeah, closed under addition is what we say. In addition, uh, in addition to that, we also say that it is closed under scalar multiplication. Okay. So what do those two mean? Closed under closed under addition means that we can take any vector. Uh, from that subspace and add it with another vector from that subspace and we'll get a third vector that is still within that subspace. Uh, closed under scalar multiplication similarly means we can take that vector, multiply it by any constant uh, and we'll get a vector that is still within that subspace. So um, how do we form subspaces? There are uh, three major ways that um, we can talk about or that you'll often see used in problems and such. Um, well, I guess two, I'm kind of splitting up the first one. The first is that if you just have the span of a single vector, um, so in another video we talked a bit about what span means. That just means all the linear combinations of whatever's inside these brackets here. Um, if that's just a single vector, say v1 is uh, 1, 2. So does it, uh, does it satisfy these three rules? Because um, it, a span is all the linear combinations, so we can just multiply that by zero. So yes, it contains a zero vector. Um, if we add any combination of this vector to itself, I mean, this vector plus this vector, that's still within the span. Um, that's basically the same thing as the third thing right here, um, where one, two plus one, two, that's just 2, 1, 2. So addition, scalar multiplication, it's all basically the same thing when we only have one vector. Um, and no matter how many times you add it to yourself, it's still going to be within its own span. Um, so that's one example of a subspace. Um, so that's the span of one vector. Uh, another example would be the span of multiple vectors. Big surprise. So again, just linear combinations of two vectors. Um, so for example, let's say that v1 is uh, 3, 1. And v2 is uh, 1, 2. OK, so does, does this contain the zero vector? Yes, because it's just linear combinations. You can multiply both of them by zero and get out the zero vector. Uh, is this closed under addition? Uh, good question. Um, here, for example, we have um, two different vectors in R2. And what is actually an interesting rule um, is that when you have as many vectors as there are components and both vectors are linearly independent, so not a multiple of each other, and we can easily see that, um, then that will actually span all of R2, um, or all of Rn, whichever dimension you're working in. Um, so from that, we can derive that no matter uh, what combination of these two we add, we can basically say it's closed under addition. And that's really what span means. Um, span all the linear combination of, this, of these two. 
So it's practically redundant to say that is this closed under addition when yes, that is the definition of span. Uh, and the same for sc scalar multiplication. Um, by the very definition of span, um, any scalar multiple of these is still going to be within the span. Um, so these are pretty tied together. Um, this concept of what a span is, which we talked about earlier, and these three rules. The other way you get a subspace is if you're given some sort of rule for vectors. Um, and this you don't see as common, but we like to throw it around and we'll give you a rule and say, is this a subspace? And you have to figure out whether it obeys these rules. So here's an example. Uh, my subspace V uh, is all the vectors. Uh, so all the vectors X, Y, Z, such that uh, Y is equal to zero. Uh, so that's my subspace. Now, this again, this is a set of vectors, just all the vectors that um, fulfill this requirement. And I want to see if that uh, is okay with these three rules. One, does it contain the zero vectors? Yes. Um, y has to be zero, and I can just choose x and z to be zero. So yes, it contains a zero vector. Um, is this closed under addition? Well, if we take two vectors that are part of this uh, subspace, I can pick uh, x and z to be anything. So I'll pick two, zero, one, and this is part of that subspace because y is zero. Add it to literally anything else. I can choose uh, three, zero, four. That's, again, part of it. And if I add them, no matter what values I picked, y is still going to be zero. Um, so yes, this is closed under addition. Does that make sense? Because no matter how I add them together, y is always going to stay zero. Uh, and similarly, no matter what constant I choose to put in front of this vector, um, the y is always going to stay zero. So this is closed uh, under scalar multiplication as well. Um, so those are basically the ways that you're going to find that subspaces are talk talked about. Um, they become important later on especially when we talk about orthonormal subspaces and different kinds of subspaces. But um, if you just keep these three rules in the back of your mind, you'll, you won't get confused and forget what it is. So check out the rest of the videos for more on linear algebra. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math-related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.